Hello and welcome to this week's Political Talk. My name is Jill Langland. Thanks for joining us. Some top news stories that can be found throughout the week. The United States Senate appears headed for a showdown over the nomination of Judge Neil Gorsuch to the Supreme Court after he was pr approved by the Senate Judiciary Committee along party lines. Republicans have threatened to use the nuclear option to lower the confirmation threshold from 60 to 51 votes if they can't get eight Democrats to support Gorsuch. So far, only three Democrats have allowed, announced that they will vote yes. Democrats used the same maneuver on the lower courts and executive branch nominees in 2013. April 3rd marks the start of H-1B visa season. The H-1B is a non-immigrant visa in the United States under the Immigration and Nationality Act. It allows U.S. employers to temporarily employ foreign workers in specialty occupations. It could be in high demand this year amid a possible White House push to change the program. Last year, the cap of 85,000 visas was reached in less than a week. A Supreme Court decision could give others a look at just how you voted on Election Day. That would be if you took a selfie with your marked ballot. The nation's highest court struck down an attempt by the state of New Hampshire to reinstate a law that prohibits ballot selfies. South Dakota is one of two dozen states with such a law on the books. Some of those laws are being challenged in court. But the ban remains in place in South Dakota for now. In local news now, Mayor Mike Huther announced that on March 24th, three vacancies to the Washington Pavilion Management Incorporation Board of Trustees. The board consists of up to 21 members, including three members appointed by the mayor. Meetings are held every third Tuesday of the month at 12 p.m. in the Washington Pavilion Boardroom. If interested, check out the information on your screen or call Julie Wilson in the mayor's office at 367-8827. And now, I had the distinct privilege to discuss with the mayor about different issues that are affecting Sioux Falls, along with questions about where he hopes to see Sioux Falls in the future. For me, it was really, really an important uh, indicator because one of the goals that I had uh, when I was first elected mayor is I wanted to make this not only the place to work, not only the place to play, but I really wanted to make it uh, the place to live. And uh, that, that's, been, that's been really important. Our quality of life, I think, is, is the best in the country right now. Uh, it, it's safe. Uh, incredible um, uh, opportunities to, to have, a, have a great career. Um, plenty of things to do with the new event center, uh, which is, by the way, the 88th busiest event center in the world. Uh, to our new indoor pool, to our vibrant downtown, uh, and, and so much more. It, uh, we're really on a good track. But, uh, first of all, we're, we're growing rapidly. Uh, for four straight years, we've broken the city's construction record. Uh, so you know, there's all kinds of building and dreaming and growing and investing going, all, uh, going on all over town, north, south, east, west, and yes, including our, our downtown. Um, but I think also... We've got a very, very diversified economy here. Uh, you know, we're not just reliant on one type of, uh, of industry here. Uh, we've got, of course, you know, agriculture, financial services, healthcare, research, retail, tourism, manufacturing, blue collar, gray collar, white collar. Uh, there's all these different uh, opportunities that we have. And, and right now, all these companies are growing. Uh, and they're, they're struggling, though, finding uh, you know, enough good workers to, to fill those roles. And, and what I would recommend, what I would say is that um, I, I don't know if crime is just uh, uh, targeted to one neighborhood or one part of town, but I will tell you that crime is, a, is an important topic, whether it be in Sioux Falls, whether it be in, in Tripp, South Dakota, Eureka, South Dakota, Mitchell, South Dakota, Rapid City, South Dakota. Crime is a, is a challenge, and the most important aspect of that crime is drug-related crime. Uh, it's, it's a beast. Uh, meth, uh, uh, heroin, uh, opioids, prescription drugs, 
that has been the biggest cause of crime, not only in Sioux Falls, but not only across South Dakota, but across our country. We try to stay one step ahead of, you know, the people that are perpetrating the, the crime. Um, you know, we've got good, good police team. Uh, we give them the resources that they need. Um, but even with that, we're still going to have this uh, epidemic of drugs, and it's going to impact our, our city in a, in a negative way. You know, right now, when you graduate from USF, I would strongly encourage you to look at Sioux Falls first. I really would. Um, you know, and, and, and I'll, I'll be very, very open and honest. Uh, you know, Cindy and I, we left. Uh, we did. We went to New York, and then we went to Texas, we went to Europe, and then we came back. And it certainly it, it made us stronger. Uh, but Sioux Falls is different from where it was when I first graduated from South Dakota State University. And I'll tell you, I think that you'll find a very, very good place to work, a very, very good place to, to play and a good quality of life, as well as someday raise a family. Uh, I'll put city of Sioux Falls up against anybody right now. So, you know, USF students, please look at Sioux Falls uh, before you, you know, you venture out and, and tackle the world. And, and even if you do leave, come back. Because uh, uh, I think you're going to find Sioux Falls are going to make it worth your while.